for a straight month I dedicated almost 60 hours to practice, with half of that time spent on just that single corner. By doing so, I set a world record lap in Garage 61 and shortly after I went from a 3k I rating to 5k in less than 3 weeks. This video is going to showcase my brute force approach on how to get closer and closer to a grip limit and ultimately how you can replicate this to improve your I rating. The first thing I did was choose a corner that is crucial in the lap. Turn 1 leads to a long straight in Spa, making it a low speed corner where having a perfect input is critical. Then I set an active reset point just before the corner so I could repeat it over and over again. Most importantly I added a telemetry overlay so I could assess my attempts in real time. I began then with a simple goal, maximizing grip during straight line braking. This is the first step in building up a corner and for the most part I focused just on straight line braking as the common mistake here is releasing the brakes too quickly. So let me show you how I used to brake. I was trying to brake as late as possible, picking up the brakes, but then look closely, I am dropping them too quickly down to 0%, I'm not trailing enough, I'm dropping the threshold too quickly, I'm having a gap in between brake and throttle, and this is a recipe for disaster, right? So what I wanted to change is to keep the brakes more play more at the threshold limit of braking, stay there as much as I could with the car being a bit twitchy and then releasing them slowly, slowly, slowly and trailing more and more into the corner. Now because I was playing at the grip limit I found myself in a position in which mid corner I had some issues with the car balance, usually understeer or oversteer as you see in this example here where I just lose the car mid corner, a snap of oversteer, I'm playing at the grip limit and I go past it and it's very difficult to control. The goal is to have the car in a neutral steer, not oversteer, not understeer, staying exactly at the limit, but this is very difficult when you're still experimenting with changes. The usual thing that you should aim for is to have your inside tire locking up while going into a corner. This means you're really using all the available grip, more than the available grip, but this is a clear sign that you're properly trail braking into the corner and I found myself under steering more than often. Then I had to tune it down step by step to avoid the micro lockups but still properly trail break into the corner. The last part I focus on was having no gap in between the brake shape and the throttle shape. So in this example, I'm leaving just a gap in between the brake and the throttle and this is something I really focused on improving because this gap should not exist, it should be filled by either brake or an earlier throttle. And there's another discussion about throttle. The throttle application should be confident, it shouldn't be like a staircase. So while avoiding having the gap, it's important to avoid having a throttle application which is slow, which is not confident, which is taking too much to build up. That is a sign that the apex is not right, the trailing is not right, maybe the turning is not right, so almost everything must be checked in order to have a proper exit for the corner. Now I wouldn't say that I've completely mastered keeping the car at the grip limit at all times. I'm still not as fast as I like to be and I'm facing challenges on certain tracks. I'm still improving. Becoming quicker is a result of small improvements which starts with shaving off thousands of seconds and gradually progress to tens, ultimately adding up to whole seconds. Recently, I began working with people eager to enhance their skills. I found coaching to be incredibly rewarding and currently I'm offering some of the most accessible coaching sessions on the market. This is mainly because I see it as an opportunity for my own growth as it allows me to explain the concepts that I'm already applying. If you're interested, check out getgoodracing.com. Thanks for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video.